Some of you who have watched my videos probably remember I did a, when I did a video on that computer right there. A couple, actually. The Fujitsu Lifebook P1610. And you probably remember me ranting about the Intel Core Solo processor, about why would Intel create such a chip, and, well, maybe back in 2006 when it was a new processor, it, certain, it probably was certainly powerful enough to run Windows XP, but as you saw with Windows Vista, and even a little bit with Windows 7, not so much. So today we're going to do a comparison between the Intel Core Duo on the... On, with the Dell Inspiron E1505, which I just did a video on, we'll compare that, with the Fujitsu Lifebook P1610's Core Solo. Now the, the CPU on the right side is the Intel Core Duo T2400 running at 1.83 GHz, and I believe the Core Solo is a U1300 running at, I believe it's either 1.33 or 1.66 GHz. So we'll start with the boot up race. So on the count of three, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, to well, push and slide the power buttons on these computers, and we'll have a little boot race. They are both running Windows 7, the, the right on the Fujitsu running Windows 7 Starter Edition 32-bit, and the Dell running Windows 7 Home Premium 32-bit. As you know, the Yona architecture CPUs are only 32-bit capable. They are not 64-bit capable like the Core 2 CPUs. So, the only difference between these two machines is this one has 2 gigabytes of RAM and this one has 1 gigabyte of RAM. So, yeah, I mean, maybe it's a little unfair, but hey, we're testing the processors, not the RAM. Anyways, 3, 2, 1, go. The Dell is in the lead. And uh, just just a little history lesson here. The Intel Core Duo uh, was the first mobile. It was the first true dual core mobile processor that Intel made. Intel actually um, had a dual core, a true dual core processor at the time of the of the of the Yona architecture. That would have been the Pentium D. But that was only a desktop CPU. That was not meant for. That was not a mobile CPU. So, in 2006, Intel introduced the Yona architecture, which was the Intel Core Duo and Core Solo. And the Core Duo was a true dual-core CPU, while the Core Solo <clears throat> was a Core Duo with one core disabled. So, so the, the Core Solo is, is actually a single-core processor, but in reality, it's a dual-core with the second core disabled. And compared to, uh, there's an AMD CPU that a lot of people have been saying, uh, and it looks like the, just that reference, the Fujitsu got to the desktop a little bit before the Core Duo, so the Core Solo, mm, I don't know, may, could I be wrong about the Core Solo sucking that badly? We just heard the startup sound on the Core Duo. And the main test we're going to be doing, we're just going to be doing some a very basic test with these two machines. We're going to be comparing, we're going to be going to several websites, YouTube, and, um, well, we're going to go to YouTube, and we're going to try, we're going to go to Google, and just search for some basic stuff. And we'll see how these CPUs do Google Images and stuff like that. God, my nose is really running today. And we will test it out. So, pause here, and we'll go ahead and get Google Chrome open. For the next test, we're going to see how long it takes a modern web browser, in this case, the latest version of Google Chrome, takes to open. Sorry about the Core Solo screen. It's a little dark, but I'll see if I can turn the brightness up a little bit. There we go. There we go. That's better. So we'll go ahead and launch Google Chrome in three, whoops, three, two, one, go. And the Core Duo is, the core duo is thinking, Core Solo is thinking. Core Duo is open Chrome, but not fully yet.
and the core duo is ready for input, while the core solo is still thinking about it. Like I said, the core solo ran window, runs Windows XP pretty well, but anything higher than that is pretty much garbage. And bear, keep in mind, the Core Solar is running Windows 7 Starter Edition, not Home Premium. So remember, there's no arrow, there's no arrow in Windows 7 Starter, so there's no arrow features at all. You can't even change the desktop background. That's how much Windows 7 Starter sucks. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> I think it's a, I actually think it's a decent operating system. It's just the lack of personalization makes no sense. Core Solo is still thinking about it. And the Core Duo is already telling me that there's updates available, as you can probably see down there. Oop. Yeah. And the Core Solo has launched, the Chrome has just launched on the Core Solo. Alright, I'm close to the finish line on the course solo. And the course solo has crashed. And the course solo has gotten, is not ready. The course solo actually took too long, so now it's at the page crash screen. Oh. Looks like it's trying again. All right. Well, we we won't even bother. Let's just try searching for something. So let me go ahead. The core solo is done. All right. So let's go ahead and search for. Let's go and see how long it takes to open Google Images. So I'll type in images.google.com on this machine and images.google.com on this machine. Oops, kick the camera while I'm at it. And we'll go ahead, move the camera up a little bit. So ready, three, two, one, go. Start with a lightweight website. The core Duo is done, and the Core Solo is done. All right, so we'll go ahead and, now we'll go ahead and search for, we'll go ahead and search for me on both machines. All right, so we'll see how long it takes to load the search results. Three, two, one, go. Looks like the Core Solo started off pretty well, but then the Core Duo took over. But as for, but they're pretty much the same. As you can see, there's the first one. I'm the first. I'm the first person right there. There's my. There's the thumbnail preview of my Dell. Of my Dell. Um, Inspiron E1505. So now let's try something a little heavier. Let's go to YouTube. Now YouTube does cause problems on the course solo, so fair warning if the page crashes, that's to be expected. Three, two, one, go. Core Duo is off to a good start. Core solo is just starting. Fix the camera position. Core Duo is just about. Core Duo is done. Core Solo is still thinking about it. The Core Solo actually still needs to load the ad. And we're close to the finish line on the Core Solo. Core Solo is almost done. <laughs> and I would time this, but I don't have a stopwatch handy, so 
I could use my phone, but hey, I'm too lazy to go grab it. So if you want a stopwatch test, go watch someone else's video. And poor Solo is done. It's still loading the video though, but the page the page loading is complete. All right, so now let's go ahead and pull up a video. So let's see, who should we do? How about no? Do we have we done? I don't think I've showed V Westlife on this channel, so we'll type in V Westlife. ThinkPad. Watch one of his ThinkPad videos. So let me get, get that pulled up on here. ThinkPad. Core Solo is a little sluggish. Try that again. There we go. All right, we'll do his uh, X60 Amazing After 10 Years video. So we'll go ahead and time to see how long it takes to start playback. Three, two, one, go. Core Duo is no, zippity doo dah. black slab you're seeing is not a chalkboard, although you could probably use it as one because of no, its texturized fingerprint. We'll go ahead and mute one of those so it doesn't get cacophony. And show the core duo. Core duo is playing it back pretty smoothly. Core solo is having a little bit of trouble. Okay, so it's time for the for the boot race, the timed boot race, with these two computers. So up first we have the Intel Core Duo. So we'll go ahead and get to our stopwatch here. And we'll power it up, right? We'll power it on. Three, two, one, go. All right. Booting up. Come on, camera, I know you can focus. About 48 seconds. It looks like it's just about done. When the wireless connects, we'll know that'll be done. Done. So that was, let's see here, if I can get my watch in the pick in the view here, that was a minute 47 seconds. So now we'll move on to the core solo. And yes, I'm well aware that I could probably speed these times up by installing an SSD, but I'm just, I'm, you know, I don't really have the money to do that. So anyways, let's go ahead and start up the second one. Three, two, one, go. So here's the core solo. Can it outperform the one minute and 47 second boot up for the court from the core duo? All right, we're at the starting Windows screen.
This one looks like it might win. Of course, I probably... No, we're at the desktop. So as soon as the wireless connects, that'll be time. There's the startup chime. Ooh, I don't know, it's gonna be close. Maybe not. We're already at 101 minute 50. We got to the desktop faster, but... And time. Two minutes, two seconds. If I can get my watch in there. See if I can pull it up to the camera. There it is, two minutes and two seconds. So there you go. So that that's those are the startup times. A minute forty seven versus two minutes and two seconds. The core solo looked like it may have looked like it was gonna win, but it, at the last minute, I mean it takes longer to load uh all your system your system tray icons and all the uh services once you get to the desktop. So the core duo wins, but I would say those times are pretty close. Now we'll do the shutdown time, so we'll start with the Core Duo. Go ahead and get it ready to shut down. Alright, three, two, one, go. Thirty two seconds. Come on, camera, pick up the watch. There you go. Thirty two seconds for the core duo. Now we'll go ahead and do the core solo. All right, so thirty two seconds for the core duo. All right, three, two, oops. Three, two, one, go. Fifty seconds for the core solo. Three, two, one, go. 